The man who inspired change to protect construction workers in Michigan has passed away. And Andy Lefko's family is vowing to continue his legacy. Jermont Terry live tonight with their message. Jermont. Deborah and Kimberly, over the years, you've seen those signs telling that if you hit or kill a construction worker, you could spend time in prison. That push came after Andy Lefko was seriously injured nearly 20 years ago. His mother has fought hard to change the, uh, the laws to protect people in construction zones, and that fight continues even with his passing. The images of her loving son will forever be dear to this mother. You're going to miss him dearly. But this black and white sign with seven important words remains her son's legacy. It was a whole life change for our whole family. 19 years ago, just weeks into a new construction job. They were so happy they had just gotten engaged. Andy Lefko was hit by a drunk driver in the construction zone on I-275. He got hit from behind, but his co-workers saw it. They, it was so traumatic for them, they quit the next day. The driver served only 45 days, yet Andy's injuries left him unable to walk, talk or function without 24-hour care. He couldn't do anything. So mom, Diane Watson, decided to do something. She fought to protect others in construction zones. She lobbied to get tougher penalties against drivers who hit or killed a worker. It became known as Andy's Law in 2000. I've had people here tell me lately, you know how many people that lives you have probably saved because of this? I never looked at it like that. I just looked at it as an honor to Andy. Andy fought long and hard since the 1999 accident, but Tuesday morning he died from those complications 19 years later. His mother mourns, but she hopes drivers realize the true consequences. Just be cautious, not only just in construction zones, anywhere you drive. So, Jermont, the, the driver who hit Andy 19 years ago was only charged with drunk driving, served 45 days. But I understand there's actually a case to be made that he would face new charges now. You're exactly right. I talked to a legal expert, and he says that is a possibility because you have to keep in mind that there's really no statute of limitation when it comes to murder, and prosecutors could decide to go after second-degree murder. Double jeopardy does not apply here, Devin, because at the time there was no um, injury causing death because Andy was still alive. Yeah. Now, I did ask Andy's mom that question. She says that she's not looking forward and doesn't want to go through a trial, but ultimately it comes down to the prosecutor's office. Yeah. So tough. Yeah. yeah. All right, Jermont.